You're going to be 39 in November. Right. Okay. 40 is just right, right around the corner. corner. Are you, uh, how are you feeling about that? So Leonardo DiCaprio is asked by a gynocentric reporter who is obviously out there to name and shame men into getting married how it feels to be unmarried for a man who is rich, successful and literally on top of the world. The reason I'm using the word unmarried is because when you call a man single it implies that he's desperately trying to find a woman to change that status, to fill in the void. I don't know, I feel better than ever. <laughs> Am I supposed to feel bad about that? I no. suppose that's the... <laughs> And Leonardo DiCaprio gives this white knight vagina reporter a perfect answer. I feel better than ever. This catches the reporter off guard and he tries to make up for it with an awkward smile. I suppose that's what everyone, uh, <laughs> no, it's some, almost like... <laughs> some people have this huge like fear of, of turning 40 yeah. for some reason. How are you feeling about it? What most people don't understand is that men have their dating peak in their late 30s to mid 40s. On the other hand, for women it is during their early 20s. Because by the time most men reach their late 30s, they have established a career, have money and bought a nice house or an apartment. This is extremely desirable to women, especially much younger women who are in their mid 20s. Women have their dating peak in their early 20s because this is when they look their most youthful, beautiful and are most fertile. Most men prefer to date women in their early 20s for this reason. For most situations, it's much easier to get a date with a woman in her 30s. By the time they reach this age, they have far fewer men showing an interest in them so there is less competition. For a man in his 20s, it's very hard to find a beautiful woman in her early 20s due to lack of money and status. When a man in his 30s becomes successful, rich and powerful, women in their 20s are suddenly drawn to such men. And when a man finally reaches his 40s and beyond, and provided he amassed a lot of wealth and resources, be it in the form of a huge mansion, convertible Mercedes, Porsche or a Ferrari, then he can finally get revenge on all the women because now he has access to girls as young as 18, which could even be daughters of the women who rejected him when he was a young man in his 20s. So for men on here in their 20s, rest assured that life will only get better as you get into your 30s and 40s, provided you don't settle down or get married. Not having children in your 20s and 30s is also critical. To put it in layman's term, women have their looks as an advantage in their teens and 20s. That's why women act nicer in their 30s and 40s because they've been used up by the jerks. Men on the other hand have their best shares in their 30s and 40s because this is the time when men start accumulating assets and money. Popular radio host Tom Likas says that it gets better for men as they age. So you younger men, just wait and these rapidly aging women will be left in the dust. What happens to all these 30 year old ugly fat women? They are dumped and kicked to the curb and the 30 year old men go for the younger women. Men in their 30s have money and so they can choose any woman they want. Women in their 30s don't have this option. So in the end, we men do have the last laugh. In Russia, a girl knows that if she isn't married by the age of 22, there is a little chance of ever getting married or finding a good husband. Russia is a post-feminist society, so all Western countries are headed in that same direction. Feminism in the end destroys itself. I'm feeling great. I mean, I, I, uh, I just, you know, to me, right now it's about uh, get a link, getting a little breather, getting, getting some time off, getting to do some more, you know, environmental work stuff away from some... From, from making movies. I, I, I did three films in a row, back to back yeah. to back. So you're taking a break? No, not a, not a permanent break or not a, you know, it's an indefinite period, but just, you know, a few months off to do some other things. Are you, are you thinking maybe uh, the single life is something you want to give up at some point and have a family settle down? I take it as it comes. We'll, yeah. we'll see what happens in the future. We'll see what yeah. happens. But is that something that you see in your future? Oh, for fuck's sake! I, I, I don't try to determine what the future will be. I take it day by day. It was Mexico City that 21-year-old Leonardo DiCaprio was raving about while shooting the Romeo and Juliet wedding. His co-star, Claire Danes, was only 16. Well, he's brilliant. I mean, he's actually amazing at what he does. As is the case now for Leo, wedding bells back then weren't a big must. For me to get married now would take a lot. Marriage would, wouldn't be uh, in, in even my realm. 
And even back when Leonardo DiCaprio was 21, at the start of his fame and popularity, he still rejected the idea of marriage. Looks like he was raised a MGTOW, and will go on living as a MGTOW. And when he gets into his old age, women will continue to surround him, trying to trap Leonardo DiCaprio with their golden vagina, because all women think they have a special golden vagina that can't be found anywhere else. These women will hope that when he dies, he will leave his estate and money to them. Too bad, because most of his relationships don't last very long, and he changes women like a dirty diaper. He discards them in the bin and moves on to the next much younger model. Men like Leonardo DiCaprio are a minority in Hollywood and you can see how the mainstream media is trying to literally push the agenda of marriage onto him by shaming and putting Leonardo DiCaprio on the spot. Obviously he will not flat out say that he will never get married because it's better to keep this part of his life a mystery. As they say, loose lips sink ships. And for those people in denial and who still think that Leonardo DiCaprio will end up miserable and lonely, just look at Hugh Hefner who, with a net worth of $43 million, is surrounded by mobs of beautiful young women. Leonardo DiCaprio is younger, has a much larger net worth of $216 million and will always be associated as a sex symbol in the eyes of women due to his highly successful acting career. And with the divorce rates of over 50%, Leonardo DiCaprio would have to be drinking some kind of crazy Kool-Aid to even consider such an outdated concept between a man and a woman. So when I see an article like this, I just have to laugh my dick off. Let's get a closer look at the fat, bitter old cunt who wrote this article. This fat thing is called Jen Moya. She's old, fat, ugly, miserable and lonely. And she also happens to be a British newspaper columnist. I'm sorry guys, I chose the worst photos of her. Here's a better angle. And what about all the single women slipping around in Hollywood that are going to be lonely old ladies in some years time? We never see any articles about that. Or wait, that would be sexist. If a male is not single and slips around, he is wrong. If he's single and slips around, he is also wrong. This is what I call feminism and gender equality. Thanks for watching this video guys, please like, subscribe and comment. And I promise to masturbate to the naked photo of the fat bitter old cunt. Cheers. Okay.